Good morning, guys. This is Elizabeth Kwam from Homesteading for Health, and my kids did not eat all of their omelet that I made them this morning. So little Mr. Fisher is going to get a little bit of omelet. Fisher is a cat that we rescued from the reservoir. He was among rocks. You can see a couple videos back where where he was located and everything. So, and he survived this the far. So, I'm excited for Fisher. Fisher. That's your litter box. That's your litter box, buddy. So he hasn't, he, he has eaten quite a bit. He ate some salmon, but got some tuna fish there for him, some raw milk, some kefir, and some egg. Oh, Kalina. Kalina, she's trying to get the egg. She wants the egg. I'll give you a bit of the egg. Here you go, Kalina. There you go. That's Kalina, our caricatron. She's our livestock guardian dog. She does such a fantastic job. We have not lost, we have not lost any ducks or chickens. And our ducks and chickens are on pasture and we don't put them in at night. Thanks. Thank you. I wanna update you about the cow, our little calf. Okay, so our little calf, um, this second, so the first day we just kind of introduced and that was kind of in the evening. So we left him out in the field at night with, um, with mama. She, she didn't really let him drink um, any of her tea. She was kicking him away and stuff. So the second day we actually had to walk him up to the stanchion. And that was really hard for him because his little legs are, you know, um, that he has a, a problem with his legs that um, Iowa State veterinarians said would, would straighten out. It typically straightens out. He doesn't want to go away from mama. We have had him tied to the stanchion. And um, just every uh, couple times a day, we bring up the cow, and she has now accepted him. The first day, I had to hobble her. And a hobble is just something you put around their legs so they can't kick very far up, and they just kind of learn, oh, I'm not really accomplishing what I want to and getting this calf off me or this human off me so I'm gonna give up and then they get used to it and they're just fine with it now she has fallen in love with the calf like it's hard to get her away from the calf and back into the field because she loves the calf so much and she moves for the calf and um, we don't want them together all the time because he would drink her dry and he would drink her dry and get scours. So, I mean, or like poopy problem. I don't know if you call it scours, but he would get poopy problem. Basically, he would have diarrhea. It would be too rich. There would be too much nutrition going his way all of a sudden. And um, that you don't want either because he can actually de get dehydrated. Um, if you, you know, have a lot of diarrhea, you can get dehydrated, even if you're getting plenty of nutrition. So, um... So yeah, we, he, the first day that Derek had brought him up to the stanchion, he actually let him loose on her and he drank her dry and he got the poopies. So that was not good. Overall, I am very excited and happy about um, this transition. It was excellent. Uh, she did a good job and she's continuing to do a good job now. Uh, the weekend came and went, and uh, she did fantastic out there with him. Um, she would really protect him if he was out there, and since he's not very mobile, um, she would... I'm making us some lunch. Uh, we're going to have salmon and rice. Um, she would be able to... Like, she would go up to him. So in the field... Uh, she would just check in on him. So every once in a while, she would just go up to him and see if he wanted to drink something or see how he was doing. So um, even though he's not very mobile, he was able to get up and nurse, which is perfect. And uh, he's doing great. She's doing great. I'm excited. 
I don't think we're gonna grow him out. I think we'll sell him and we'll go ahead and do it again just because we don't want to uh, overwinter a large calf. And from the size of our property, uh, I would rather, I'd rather not use it for that right now. Uh, we have six acres um, and we might wanna board some horses once we put up our new barn. So we'll see what will be in the works for that. Um, so somebody else can enjoy him after we wean him. But yes, for now we can go on vacation and not have to worry about it so much. The thing that was super annoying is on the front of the uh, stanchion that we bought, it had this big metal piece that came down and I know that it's probably useful for something, otherwise they wouldn't have put it on there. But for us, we don't need it, don't want it. Our cow's pretty big. It was uncomfortable for her. And now um, we just took that off with the Derek's nice skills. We took that off so that she could be more comfortable while standing in the stanchion. And then we're gonna move it closer to the, uh, closer to the shop where there's an opening that in the winter time I'll be able to kind of shelter it more and milk her from there and um, try to set up a system to where she, uh, when she poops and stuff like that, when it drops, I can clean it up more easily. So that'll be in the works. Are you climbing trees with Fisher? No. Nope. We're, we're, we're building something up here. I bet he can't climb down a tree though. No, you leave him. No, 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 leave him. So don't, the... don't put him up in the tree because okay. he's got little bones over there, fragile right now because he's malnourished. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't so that you can see more of our videos.